Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I heard that the stadium's still going to be pretty full, so there will be noise. Um, I mean, if there's, if, even if there's a few thousand, it still, it still helps the atmosphere. So um, we're going to be looking forward to it as, as, we are, as we are every game. So I don't think the crowd should be a problem for us. Takže otázka na hráča Meta Dahertyho, teda čo očakáva od atmosféry na zápase zajtrajšom. Počul som o tom, že na zápase bude veľa detí, čiže určite tu bude, tu bude húčno. Takže musíme sa na to aj my pripraviť a počítať teda s tým, že štadión nebude prázdny, ale bude teda bude plný detí. Um, as well, it's obviously... It's a chance to, if, if you win and Besiktas to uh, beat Braga as well, it could go top of the group. So there's obvious, an obvious intensity. And, and you, you said the other day that, you know, obviously you want to go as, as far as you can in, in this competition as possible. Yeah, for sure. Obviously, um, this is this is why we kind of busted a go back in the last season to finish to finish seventh. So um, these are the kind of challenges that we want. And and we want to we want to get out of the group and we want to obviously go as far as we can. There's, a, there's no doubt about that at all. So, um, Obviously this is the next game and it's obviously important for us and uh, hopefully we can win. Takže teda Wolverhampton vyhral v Bešiktaši, čiže či to dodalo týmu takú ambíciu uh, možno aj postúpiť uh, zo skupiny. Uh, samozrejme, uh, minulej sezóne sme skončili v rámci Premier League na 7. mieste. Uh, teraz sme v skupinovej fáze a teda aj po víťazstve nad Bešiktašom určite chceme ísť čo najďalej. Teraz nás čaká ďalší zápas, ktorý nám v tom môže pomôcť. To je samozrejme logicky naša ambícia je postúpiť, teda dostať sa aj v rámci Európskej ligy čo najďalej. Takže asi tak. Matt, how attractive for you is the fact that there's a Champions League place available to the winners of this competition if you can get that far? Yeah, very attractive. Um, I guess this is kind of the start for us in terms of our, our European adventure. Um, and we want to we wanna do the best that we can if that means obviously winning it and, and getting into Champions League. That will obviously be the dream for us this season. Um, but obviously there's a, a long way to go still and we just kind of got to take it easy and, and make sure we, we put ourselves in good position in the group first. But that is clearly very attractive. Takže aká je atraktívna možnosť, že víťaz Európskej ligy môže hrať v budúcej sezóne Ligu majstrov? Samozrejme, táto možnosť je pre nás veľmi atraktívna. Je to časť takého európskeho dobrodružstva. Na druhej strane, nechceme sa tým príliš momentálne stresovať alebo nejako, nejako zaťažovať, pretože tá cesta je naozaj veľmi dlhá, ale pokiaľ by bola taká šanca, tak určite je táto možnosť hrať Ligu majstru ako víťaz Európskej ligy pre nás veľmi, veľmi atraktívna. Uh, Matt, obviously the yeah. Wolves fans follow you in big numbers all over Europe and UK. How disappointed are you that there'll only be 200 there tomorrow night? Yeah, it is disappointing um, because, like you said, they were. Part, I said um, a few days ago they were part of our whole journey last season. They were. I, mean, I think they must have sold out every single home and away game almost. So um, for them, it's disappointing. And for us, I mean, he, when we played for Shikdas, you could you could hear them up in the corner, and there was there was quite a few of them. And I mean, you get the last minute winner, and we go to celebrate with them after. That's that's all part of it. Um, and we will still have that in, but in really small numbers, which is uh, which is disappointing for us and obviously for them. But I guess they might be able to watch it on TV, which is a small benefit. Že ako aké veľké sklamanie pre hráčov, že uh, že tu bude teda len 200 britských fanúšikov. Určite sme veľmi sklamaní, že ich tu bude uh, v rámci pravidel len 200, pretože fanúšikovia sú časťou našej úspešnej cesty dokážu vypredať v podstate náš každý domáci zápas a takisto vonkajší zápas. Aj minulé Bešiktaši sme ich podporu naozaj cítili. Bohužiaľ, zajtra to s nami nemôžu byť. Napriek tomu veríme, že aspoň tých 200, ktorí tu budú, tak nás podporia patrične. A teda veríme, že tí ďalší, ktorí nebudú môcť pricestovať, tak aspoň prostredníctvom televízie alebo teda na diálku budú s nami a budú nás podporovať a my určite budeme bojovať na ihrisku aj za nich. Meant to be nobody in the stadium, um, so if it's a it's a full house, it's not really uh, you're not really getting punished fully. But I don't know the ins and outs of the whole situation, so um, I'd rather not say too much.
Takže zápas sa mal hrať úplne bez divákov, nakoniec tu bude plno detí, takže či to považuje med za férové, nie je úplne, pretože nesplňa túto definíciu zápasu bez divákov. Na druhej strane nepoznám presnú situáciu, alebo celú tá presnú tú genézu celého tohto problému, takže aj my to berieme ako fakt a tak to teda vnímame v týme. Well, you've obviously got a, a mixed race dressing room, many nationalities. Just from a player's point of view, what do you feel about the, the, the whole spotlight on the race issues just now and how it's being dealt with by the authorities? Um, well, obviously, I think they're trying to deal with it all the time. It's happening way more than anybody would like or anybody should have to deal with. Um, so I guess you kind of just have to leave it in their hands and kind of trust trust what they're doing. I haven't experienced it firsthand as in being on this pitch at the same time. Um, so I've not had that situation yet and hopefully I ne we never have to deal with that type of situation personally. Um, but we just kind of got to just trust the authorities and, and trust the process that they're doing with it and let them hopefully do the right job, which I think they will do in the end. <laughs> aj v kabine majú viacero národnosti a teda ako vníma celú túto situáciu a teda aj v samotnom zápase, takže ako som už povedal, musíme sa s, s týmito faktami, ktoré tu sú na stole vyrovnať, musíme rešpektovať veci, ktoré sú jasne nastavené. Na ihrisku v konečnom dôsledku bojujeme ako jeden tým, takže jednoducho musíme to tu celé, aké to je, musíme to tu zvládnuť a pobiť sa o čo najlepší výsledok. Just a supplementary on that, well, that one, Matt, thanks for answering that one, but would you hate to be ever put in a position where, like the England players, you maybe had to discuss whether you walked off a pitch? Do you think that should be taken out of players' hands and left with the authorities? Um, no, not necessarily. I mean, if, the player, if it comes to it where the players feel uncomfortable being out on the pitch and they can all agree on this, on and that type of process and I wouldn't have a problem with it necessarily. I would hate to be in that position where you have to choose whether you come off the pitch or stay on the pitch um, because I just would not like be put in that situation so hopefully it, it doesn't happen. Um, but I would be probably be more along the lines of trying, um, like I was listening to Ferdinand yesterday before when the games, try to beat them on the pitch um, and try and shut them up that way. Že v prípade, že by nastali nejaké problémy, čiže ako by bola myslím teda teraz problémy v hľadisku alebo s fanúšikmi, že aj keby bola reakcia, reakcia týmu, o, či teda na ihrisku zostať alebo z ihriska odísť, takže hovorím, že verím, že sa také niečo v živote nezažijem. Samozrejme v takých chvíľach má človek dve možnosti, teda buď tam zostať alebo z ihriska odísť a snažiť sa omlčať tie prejavy, ktoré sú nepriaznivé, ale hovorím, že verím, že takúto situáciu nezažijeme ako náš tým. Matt, for quite a few in the squad, it's a first European club campaign. Uh, but obviously you have some of your teammates who've done this a lot um, over the last few years. Are they able to pass on any useful knowledge about, you know, just looking after yourself with so many games, or are you not pretty clued up on that anyway? Um, I'm, sure, I'm sure they do have knowledge, but they've, they've not passed any of it on yet. So, um, I don't know, maybe, maybe they, they want to feel a bit better than we do, I don't know. Um, but like we're all we're all pretty experienced we all like we played championship games i know it's it's obviously not europa but you're playing midweek a lot um and obviously there's a few of us who play in international away with international so we know we're playing different countries is like so um it's it's not a problem at all we're, we're all we're all professionals and we're all um experienced in playing games so um it's no issue whether whether we, we come into a game and we feel like we're not experienced enough to play in the type of situation is not the case Čiže pre, pre tento tým, pre, pre Wolverhampton je to v podstate prvá európska skúsenosť po dlhých rokoch, takže ako to hráči vnímajú. E, samozrejme, v mužstve je viacero hráčov, ktorí hrávajú zápas na medzinárodnej úrovni, alebo teda hrávali, takže nie je to pre nich niečo nové, alebo nie je to pre nich nejaká extrémová skúsenosť. Takže sme profesionáli, hráme zápasy pre Merlík a vieme, aké je to hrať takisto aj vonku. Takže v tomto smere to pre nás nie je nejaký problém. Naopak, máme dostatok hráčov, ktorí majú skúsenosti aj z medzinárodnej scény. 
Dobrý večer, chcel by som sa spýtať, ako vníma teda silu slova na Bratislava a koho možnosť tých hráčov vníma ako také osobnosti, na ktoré si treba dať pozor a aký štýl zápasu teda očakáva. Ďakujem pekne. OK, so the question for you is, uh, how do you see the power of Slovan Bratislava? How do you see the Slovan? How do you see the quality of Slovan Bratislava? And maybe if you see some players who can be dangerous or maybe which players of Slovan do you consider as the, as the dangerous and as the best? Um, I've, I've actually not looked at the, the video of the, of the team yet, so we'll probably do that tonight or tomorrow. Um, and normally the day before a game we get clips of, of players and um, when you're in your room at night you kind of watch stuff, so that's the type of homework I'll probably be doing tonight and, and tomorrow morning before the game. So um, I've, we've, we've not just, just not done that yet. Um, but I've looked and they're, to they're top of the table at the moment, so um, it's a game that we're definitely, definitely taking seriously and, uh, and we know that they're going to pose quite a good threat. V podstate takú bližšiu analýzu Slovana a jeho hráčov bude mať až dnes večer po tréningu a takisto zajtra do poludnia. Takže toto nás ešte len čaká, ale samozrejme Slovan je líder skupiny, čo už samo o sebe niečo znamená. Teda o, my ten zápas berieme maximálne vážne, s maximálnou vážnosťou a Uvedomujeme si takisto aj silu súpera, takže určite nič nepodceníme. Matt, just following up on that, you know, you've played a lot of teams this season already that you haven't faced before and a lot of players that you haven't faced before. In terms of preparation, is that harder for you because, you know, the wingers you're facing week in, week out in the Premier League, you see week in, week out on TV and you're playing against them and you kind of maybe know what kind of movements they're likely to make yeah. or, you know, the tricks they might come up with. Is that so much harder for you to kind of put information into your mind or do you just kind of take as it comes during the game? No, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say it's so much harder. It's obviously a bit more challenging because you've never seen um some of these players before and you obviously you obviously some see some clips and um some personal videos that, that we get beforehand. But that doesn't show at all. They might have different type of movements that you you see in league games week in, week out, um that we don't we don't have the privilege of seeing. So um yeah look you just have to be fully concentrated at all times and and kind of not disrespect the type of player you're playing against who, who's obviously a good player and um, you just got to make sure that you're fully focused and the most important thing is to have the concentration for 90 minutes. Takže Wolverhampton tejto sezóne hral proti veľa superom, ktorých ešte nestretol v Európe. Čiže o čo je to ťažšie, než keď sa chystajú na zápasy v Premier League, kde tie týmy už poznajú, teda vedia, čo od nich môžu, môžu očakávať. Uh, samozrejme, je to možno niečo náročnejšie, ale hlavne je to taká výzva, pretože tie týmy naozaj nepoznáte, ani tých hráčov ste naživo ešte rád nevideli, takže neviete počítať možno s tými vecami, ktoré už máte naučené z domácej súťaže, kde viete o tom hráčovi, že robí teraz ta takú kúčku a inú kúčku a podobne. V tomto je to taká neznáma. Na druhej strane, o, tieto zápasy sú o dobrom pláne, o dobrej taktike a o koncentrácii. Čiže kľúčové je mať koncentráciu a svoju taktiku, svoj plán, ako zvyťaziť. Čiže toto je, možno je, je to skôr výzva, ako nejaká náročná úloha teraz si, t- si toho supera v rámci Európy analyzovať. O tom? Cheers, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Okay.